What's up guys? So we're going on a 2200 mile round trip drive. Uh, getting a rental car. I've been told it's a Nissan Rogue. Haven't, hasn't shown up yet so I don't know. Uh, but get the question all the time. Hear a lot of people talk about it. Ethanol versus non-ethanol fuel. And to know if it's really worth paying the extra cost to uh, get a little better fuel economy. How much better fuel economy does it get? Um, we'll see if we can figure some of these questions out. Gonna have 2,200 miles to do it. See ya. Got the Rogue here. First gas station we're at only has ethanol. So we'll uh, see what kind of fuel economy we get. We're in uh, Kansas City now. We went 339 miles, put in 10.4 gallons of fuel. So we got around 32 miles per gallon with ethanol. This fill up was no ethanol. So we'll see how this one does. So on that tank, we went 367 miles. We put 10.4 gallons in again. Uh, so that actually equates out to about 35 miles per gallon. Uh, so the, the non-ethanol fuel so far has been doing better. Well, we made it to Wisconsin, We're filling up again. Uh, it's freezing here compared to uh, Kansas where we came from. This fill up's gonna have ethanol again. 24 hours later. So we made it up to Michigan to the cabins. It's just a bunch of back roads up here and it rained like crazy last night. So we're gonna uh, throw this tank of fuel out of the test, just not the same conditions. All right, so full disclosure, I know everyone's gonna say it. This is not a scientific test, I'm aware of that. Uh, but this is a real world test. If you're going on a road trip, you wanna know, hey, should I use ethanol or non-ethanol? Not able to drain the whole tank. I'm not able to run the car completely out of fuel. But this is kind of a real world, hey, you know, should I use ethanol, should I not use ethanol? Which one's gonna get better fuel economy? Uh, versus cost. First fill up on the drive home with ethanol. We went 282 miles and we got 32.5 on that tank of fuel. We're doing our last fill up here, Kansas City. This is gonna be non-ethanol gas. Uh, see if we still get that 35 mile per gallon range. So we made it all the way home. That last tank of non-ethanol fuel went 210 miles and we used 5.9 gallons of fuel. So that's uh, just over 35 miles per gallon. So the non-ethanol gas got about three miles per gallon better. All right, so we crunched the uh, final numbers here. Uh, with the ethanol, we got 32.6 miles per gallon and 32.04 miles per gallon. The non-ethanol was 
35.28 and 35.6. So what I've done is crunch some numbers, um, cost per mile with the current fuel prices. Um, here in Kansas, ethanol fuel is 245 a gallon, non-ethanol is 296. So with the numbers that we got, which granted these are going to be different for every car, every situation, but what we got came out to 0 0.0757 cents per mile and 0 0.834 cents per mile. So on a 2200 mile trip, the ethanol fuel would have cost me if I used 100% ethanol, 166.54. The non-ethanol would have been 183.48. So it was uh, $16.94 cheaper using the ethanol fuel and giving up the couple mile per gallon gain. When would it be worth it? If ethanol was the exact same price, 245, and non-ethanol was 268 per gallon, or just think of it as if they were uh, 23, if it was 23 cents higher, then that's the point that it becomes worth buying non-ethanol gas versus ethanol. That would have came out to, on a 2200 mile trip, 166.10. So just barely cheaper, but it would have been cheaper. Now, the, the closer those prices are together, uh, the more drastic that savings is gonna be. Final conclusion, it didn't make financial sense on this trip to buy the ethanol free gas. Uh, wouldn't have saved any money, actually would have cost a little bit of money. Now, there are other benefits to having ethanol free gas. Um, as most people know, ethanol is corrosive. Uh, it does attract moisture. So my personal vehicles, especially anything like the Shelby that's setting over the winter, I'm going to put non-ethanol gas in it with a good stabilizer uh, to help prevent some of the issues that ethanol cost. But on a, on a road trip like this, especially in a rental car, it just didn't make sense.